<laughs> We're on our way to the plastic surgery center. Is that what it's called? Uh, this is completely out of focus right now. I don't know if it's a center. <laughs> I filled out this great form saying that I have cancer, but nothing else. It would be great if this was like an HGTV show about home renovation, except it's about breast renovation. And we can have like a demolition day. <laughs> but more importantly, decor. <laughs> what kind of decoration should we get? Do you have anything to say? I'm the one doing the driving, which in and of itself is unusual. It's true. Yeah. Done with the appointment. It's my birthday. Yay! So, kind of wish I didn't. Uh, schedule an appointment on my birthday. We're going hiking now. But first we have to get bagels. First we gotta go to Bodo's. Hey, no, you can't use brand names unless we get sponsored. We went to the plastic surgeon today because if Samantha gets a mastectomy, there are several options for reconstruction and they were discussing those. Indeed. I had to fill out like 30,000 forms, but since it's my birthday, I got really confused because it kept asking for today's date and my birth date. So I probably wrote down that I was born in 2019 a couple times. I met with a guy who's a handsome rich doctor, according to Gray. He's very handsome and he has a very nice watch. It sounds like there's really only one thing that makes sense for me to do, which is get implants because I don't have enough fat other places to do the tissue, to do it with tissue. Apparently radiation can do bad things to implants, so we'll have to hope that that doesn't happen. I'm okay with my breast size right now, so the person that was is doing the mastectomy will like go in and then on the same day, like right after, that guy will go in and put the implants in and that's hopefully right, how it would happen. Through the same incision. Yeah, through the same incision. And then I might have like a scar on the side. It's bagel time. We'll now it's time to get bagels. After bagels. Yep. Next time you see us, we'll have bagels. We have bagels now. From where? Bodo's. My cancer is technically small enough where I could just do a lumpectomy. They want to do a mastectomy because I'm so young and it, it is a higher chance of the cancer not coming back, I guess. If you remove all the tissue, then it can't get messed up again because it's gone. They want to do it on both sides because whatever caused it on one side could happen in the other side. And they don't really know why. I have cancer, obviously, but. It's one of the reasons in the video we posted earlier, so if you want to see all the things that can lead to cancer, yeah, recommended video on the <laughs> other side of the screen. If you want to know why I have cancer, watch our other video. We, we, we pinned down the reasons. All the doctors are kind of recommending a mastectomy. Not all of them, but most of them. Yeah, most of them. I, I still can't say that word. You said it. Yeah, you're just, you're just leaving out the T. I, I can't say it, so I'm sorry that I suck at saying that word. I would appreciate other opinions if you have any. You can leave a comment or send me a message. We're gonna drive to our hike now. I found the waterfall. Whoa, spectacular. We're done now. That's it, let's go home. And this is a really easy hike. There's yeah. no elevation gain. It's gonna be nothing but water sounds in your video. We crossed the river. So we have half a mile to go until we get to the waterfall. Okay, so this is ending up being a little bit more difficult than we thought. The path is gone in some places. So, yeah. This is this looks like a little bit easier than that thing we just did, but still difficult. Oh, he's a pro though. This looks easier. Yeah, it's not so bad. Let me give you a foothold like up here. There's actually footholds here. Other thing we did, I thought I was gonna die. Not really though. There's been way more times in my life when I thought I was gonna die worse than that. Look how pretty it is. Look at, get up Where's there. Get up there in the mountains. Well, Gray's the expert navigator. I have no idea where we're going. And he keeps saying all these things about ribbons and 
Jones stuff that I don't know. Oh, you barely grabbed that. What do we do now? I don't know. I think we keep going. There's a trail on the other side of the river, so we couldn't tell if we were supposed to cross there or not. Grace says no, so we haven't crossed. So we think we have missed the crossing, so we're just gonna cross here, maybe. There's pretty much no path over here. We're lost in the wilderness, send help, we're gonna die. We have no idea where we're supposed to cross the river. We've crossed it multiple times and it keeps leading us to trails that have dead ends. Do you have anything to say? Nope. So now we're going back the way we came to try to cross at another spot. We still do not know what we're doing. We don't know if we made it to the right spot or not. But we found this nice little swimming hole, so we're gonna swim. And this cool little waterfall thingy. We don't know if it's the waterfall. But look how pretty it is. So that's good enough for me. We're gonna swim now. Across the river. It's right after the washed out part. Like right after. Follow the paint on the rocks. Yeah, there's paint on the rocks. We didn't follow that because we were looking for a pink ribbon. And it's kind of faded. We actually don't know if we ever got to where we were supposed to be, but we found uh, the swimming hole that we were looking for and we went swimming. We're gonna get some canes and then we're gonna go to Scotty's baseball game. You include that in the video? Yeah, I might, I might include a little bit of it. Um, now that's it! I kind of forgot to take video of the rest of the day, but if you want an update and you care, we went home, we took showers, we ate canes, and fell asleep for like 15 minutes. Then we went to Scott's baseball game, and they lost really badly, but Scott hit the ball really hard. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other vid other videos that I have done. This is my cat. And subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to follow along with my cancer journey. Goodbye.